I also have my own rights, and you cannot film me without my consent. Out in public, you can. I'm not in public. I am inside the boundaries of my. Of yeah. My yeah. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're here at Brentag here in Lutterworth and we're at the Midlands site and according to the website Brentag United Kingdom is a subsidiary of Brentag SE and they are the global market leader in chemical and ingredients distribution. So they offer com comprehensive solutions as well as individual chemical products throughout the region so let's have a little walk around this one see what we can see from the outside of this place and it does look like it stretches quite far back all commercial vehicles keep right onto the way bridge I can't see many signs about um, hazardous chemicals from from the outside But we have got a vehicle. Oh, no. Warehousing and distribution, member of the Hazchem network. Hazardous chemical network. But even this one doesn't have a Hazchem plate on the back. So is he empty or is it missing? It's empty, mate. It's empty. Do you need a plate? What you got on? Hazardous. No plate required. No plate required because it's under scope. I need 366 kilos to put a plate on and 340. Ooh, that's close. <laughs> it's under scope. You need 366 for the plate, for the orange plate there. And he's got 340. I wonder whether that's some sort of tactic, whether they, they load them up just under so they don't have to put the plate on. Mm. Certainly something to look into. With, this is the first sort of, I'm not sure whether this is one of them coma sites, but we've seen coverage of this type of site before and they mentioned this uh, top tier coma site and stuff and hazardous chemicals. They've got strict rules they need to play by. So I thought, let's come and cover one and learn a little bit ourselves. So that one's got a blank hazardous chemical. Sorry? Can I help you? I'm just making a video about the place, mate. That one for what? Which you put it in why? For YouTube. For YouTube, but for why then? I don't understand. Well, I just wondered why you picked here. Oh, is it um, a coma site? Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, that's the reason. I want to learn a bit more about coma sites. And I mean, the gentleman there that's told me he's full of chemicals, but it's just under the weight for him to require a. Uh, a plate on the back. Right, okay. So he's told me he's got, I think it's 366 and you need 344. No, he's got 344, but you need 366 or above to have a plate. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm going to be around for about half an hour. I'm going to make a, a video about Brentag and what you do, what I can learn from the place. I'm not going to come in or anything, but I am going to, I am going to fly a drone over to finish my video. I'm sorry, you can't fly a drone over. Not over the site because it is a cone site. Yeah, yeah. So, what it is um, with drones, the Civil Aviation Authority decide where you can fly. So, I know I know you would like us not to, but you've got your reasons. But the Civil Aviation Authority have got this map, right? And basically, anything that's an airport or an airfield or a prison, you can't fly your drone over. But a place like this, I just wonder why you're doing it. Like that's all. Well. I've got a YouTube channel and I go to various businesses of interest yeah. and this place interests me because it's got the, the label Coma. Are you a top tier? Top tier, yes. Well, how many tiers are there? There's basically no Coma, lower tier and an upper tier site. Ah, right, okay. So what makes you upper tier? Uh, we apply for different licenses. We're allowed to have more of certain, those chemicals that we're approved for on site. And is there a cap? Um, depends on the hazard. Right, okay. And is it Ad Blue? No, that's not, that's not a coma product at all. Right. So when I went on your website and you've got a little product section, there's only three things listed, aren't there? There's, um, there's Ad Blue, and then you've got that other one. 
I bet you don't, you don't put them all on your website, I presume. Um, obviously, they've, they've just got them three listed. Do any of those uh, require well, a top tier? Glorious. No, none of them require, require top tier at all. So the stuff that you that makes you top tier are not listed on the website? They're not listed on that particular website for this area. What we take is sodium hypochlorite, which is what's used for cleaning, chlorine in pools. Right, okay. And that's your main thing that you're concerned about, is it? No, that's the thing that that's something that's potentially um, it's, it's classed as a hazard for the environment if it goes in It's obviously used as a cleaning and a disinfection tool for your pools. Right, okay. So letting that um, flow into the drainage system is a big no no. I am actually going to have to, have to ask you to delete this bit because I'm not willing to give my permission to put this on YouTube. Oh, um. So I can see you're filming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I need you to <laughs> Unfortunately, this is like a, an experience video. Doesn't matter. I'm not giving my permission to go onto a YouTube channel. But you could clearly see I was filming, couldn't you? But I'm not giving that's fine. my permission. That's fine. I've clearly said that on my website. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, we get this quite a lot, my friend. No, sometimes, you know if I find something really bad happening, and, and then you would want me to delete that as well, wouldn't you? No, but that's something you've taken with, but... I also have my own rights, and you cannot film me without my consent. Out in public, you can. I'm not in public. I am inside the boundaries of my. Office, yeah, like yeah, this yeah. So like, so you like, if you. Move it. I've, ha I've answered your questions. No, we're only being polite. I know, but I have work to do. Yeah, I'm. I'm so I'm please. To move on, <laughs> yeah. But I would like you to remove and it. Not put anything on that I've that I've been in. You've not done anything wrong, my friend, honestly. No. You've not said anything you shouldn't have. You've not let no secrets I know away. I but I still don't want you to use it. I still don't give my permission. Okay, okay, okay. So there we have it. Gentlemen, that's uh, probably for. Oh, I've said a little bit too much, but the security's great, look. Security swipe to get in. Yeah, he may have thought to himself, oh. I've said a little bit too much here. <laughs> Please delete it, but you know, it's not gonna get deleted. This is a first-hand account, my first-person view of arriving at Brentag. And it was uh, very polite. And the vehicle was within its tolerances. And it looks like forklift drivers papping when they should, helmets, high-vis, Everything seems kosher, so they've got nothing to worry about. Let's carry on having a little walk around and see what else we can find. So over from this angle in the distance we can see loads of barrels of chemicals there and some IBCs of some sort of clear liquid in the distance. Hi mate! You alright? Sorry? What's up? Just making a video. You DJ? DJ, yes! <laughs> Do you want a key ring? Did you want a key ring, mate? Oh, I think you bought Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boss man's sake. No, you just, oh, is that the boss? Yeah, yeah. Me. You can have one, mate. Cheers, mate. Yeah. No, he just says, um, I'd rather not fly, rather you not fly the drone, that's yeah, all. It's because it's chemicals, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's understandable, yeah. but it's allowed. Yeah, hello. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I don't want to get you in trouble. Bye, See you later. Yeah, obviously loading up um, trailers with the chemicals that have been ordered. There's that high hypochlorite, it says on there. Is that the one he mentioned earlier? I think it was. Some more chemicals here. We've got uh, acidic ferric chloride, sulfuric acid in that one. And down at the back here, we've got bags of uh, some sort of chemical. There's a Scott Campbell warehouse over there of a gentleman watching. But yeah, let's hop ourselves up here to have a look at these bags. Lots of forklift movement here inside that door. Automatic closing as well. A 
and over there a load of uh, bag stuff. I can't quite make out what it says on the bags. But lots of activity, that's for sure. And as you come down to the end of this road, the site joins up through that little walkway there. And you do get a very strong acidic smell down here. And look at that silo of its has chem plate on. And this guy's changing his overalls before he gets into his vehicle. Do you know the orange plate? Is that called a Haschem plate? Yeah. Oh, so I have been calling it the right thing. And Lor when do lorries have to have it on? Uh, it's when they've got a certain amount of chemicals. It depends what process is. Ah, got ya. I, I couldn't tell you off on me. I was just glancing at this. There's, there's one class where it's a thousand kilos of the is. There's another where it's um, that turns 300 or 330. Right. And then the other one, uh, I think that's about 50, but uh, that's really dangerous. Right, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I was finding it interesting what you do here. What's, what's the most hazardous chemical then that you touch? Uh, hydrofluoric acid. Hydro? Uh, hydrofluoric. Hydrofluoric? I, 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 I don't actually touch it, but you don't touch it like it. Right. So what, what's that used for? Uh, I'm not really sure. Right, okay. <laughs> Oh, right, okay. Shocking stuff like that, right, it? yeah. It's all interesting, isn't it? It's scary. scary, yeah. <laughs> Have a good day, mate. Yeah, working with all this uh, highly explosive or highly flammable stuff. Scary, yeah. So they're getting a bit of a backlog now with the vehicles entering. We've got one on the double yellows outside and we've got two inside and county drains are just leaving. Looks like they've even got a couple backed up here as well. Because this driver's just come out and walking in that direction. So whilst all these vehicles manoeuvre themselves to make their way onto site, this one's got a, a lot of reversing to do, isn't it? This one's got rear wheel steering. It's got two wheels at the front that are steering as well. So as they're steering that way, this one's steering that way. In the meantime, this guy's still coming back. So yeah, lots of vehicle movement happening at the gate. Uh, it's time really for the drone to go up to see what's happening from above. Now with this being a top tier coma site, you know, containment of major accident hazard, we're gonna be very careful. We're gonna go around the outside. We're not gonna go directly above any chemicals that could potentially be ignited from a spark, whether it's possible to have a spark. We're just gonna play extra safe on this one. So yeah, let's get up in the air and let's see what it looks like from above. So, Brentag and there is a major backlog of vehicles entering this site. And it's nothing to do with us. Nothing to do with us. So, it goes all the way back there, look. Let's go around this way. The sun will be behind us then, won't it? Got some trailers being loaded. What we got on this one? Oh, they're just checking the paperwork, look, in the back. 
Very well strapped down, that is. Not taking no chances with the stuff that they're carrying. Make our way around the outside. And this is where all the big stuff's happening. All the large volumes in the big silos and the big stacks. We'll make sure we don't go directly above, as we say. But it goes all the way back there. And as we saw earlier, when we came down to the end of the, that road there, they now occupy this building as well. So we can see a few forklifts buzzing around down there. It does look like some sort of spillage down there though. Or is that a bay where they wash stuff? Hmm, I'm not too sure. Not too sure at all. Is it normal for the lorry drivers to be backed up so much here? No. So obviously you heard that, didn't you? You heard that, didn't you? Like how um, unhappy the drivers are waiting. Oh, I'm not even listening, I'm just looking at my phone. Oh, you're on your brake, not even bothered. <laughs> look, look, that's where you work, isn't it? All right, OK. Where's your drone? Is that where the big stuff is in, these silos? I couldn't tell you, I'm just a temp. I've literally been here a week and a half. Oh, you mean an account? No, no, no. They normally get accounts, uh, temping accounts, don't they? Oh, I don't know. I'm just doing admin. Admin? Yeah. Right, anyway. <laughs> the chap over there, <laughs> only a temp. But yeah, we're trying to see something interesting happening on this uh, top tier coma site. Obviously, we can clearly see there's mass, 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 mass amount of chemicals. You know, in the wrong hands, it'll be very, very dangerous. So I think that literally is all there is to see. Just the very, very dangerous chemicals that they need to contain. Therefore, giving it this um, label, coma making it a, a bit of an important site to safety. So, as this vehicle goes in, it's finally gone in, look, finally gone in. We heard the drivers vent their frustrations about how slow the place is, and maybe it's normal. So let's get the drone back and wrap this one up. Sorry? No, I'm okay. I'm nearly done now. The video. Brand tag. Oh, I've just decided to, to do it myself. Nobody's asked me to do it. It's, it's just for YouTube. Anything particular? Anything particular? This is an absolute site. Yeah, it's top tier, isn't it, this one? Yeah. Yeah. I've had the drone around. I've seen how, how nice the place looks. From above. So what was plan to use it for? It's going on my YouTube channel. I visit I visit loads of different sites. I do a video from the outside. I never come on or interrupt you or anything. And just see how well you're doing. What what it looks like. 
see if I can see anything being done wrong, see how welcoming you are, how nice or or not so nice. Well, well it's just it's obviously a coma site, and I don't want people filming the place. You know, I'm not I'm not aware of it. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you've, do you know from down this road here, yeah. see-through fence. Yeah. You can see a lot more from that angle than here. I was down there for a good five minutes chatting to a guy at the back. No one noticed. So, yeah, I can see that you. When somebody's making themselves obvious, like yeah. I am here, it's great that you're responding. But nobody responded when I was down there. Cl yeah. I climbed up the wall. You know, you got a, a little wall yeah. and then a fence. I was on top of that wall looking through for ages. Okay. All right. All right. It's, it's a great video. You know, sometimes I went to this um, this foundry where molten metal was being shaken in its drum, and I was right next to it, and nobody's even bothered. So it's like a security penetration test, that one was. Yeah. But your security, I can clearly see, you've got barriers, signage. A few vehicles have been waiting on double yellows. That's not really great, but it's not your responsibility. But when they do arrive, you're not very quick to let people in. I know it's not... Sorry? It's the space. Yeah, but it means there's a clog up outside and they've got no choice but to park on double... They have to turn up at the right times, though, see? There you go, you see? There you go. You'll see the video on YouTube. It shows all the good and the bad. And off he goes, <laughs> wondering what the hell has he seen? <laughs> you know, yeah, top tier coma site. It's great that they're alert for any suspicious behavior outside. And yeah, that's all I can say on that one. So I'm going to leave that one here. Brentag, Lutuf. Let's move on. And uh, yeah, if you have enjoyed that video, give it a thumbs up for me. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye bye for now.